The first number up today is 15, as in the fight for 15, which is a national movement, to raise the minimum wage to, you guessed it, $15 an hour. And yesterday on 415, talk about brand consistency, the movement turned out tens of thousands of people in over 150 cities across the United States, including thousands in New York City alone who marched through the center of Manhattan in order to make their case. Now, of course, the current minimum wage is $7.25 an hour, which means that you can work 40 hours a week and have a kid and still be below the poverty line. But as proponents point out, at $15 an hour, everyone who works in a minimum wage job would be above the poverty line, meaning that it would actually be a living wage. Now, President Obama, of course, has proposed that the minimum wage be raised to $10.10 an hour to Congress, but surprise, surprise, they haven't acted on it. And so certain companies, like certain stores in the McDonald's chain, not all of them, and Walmart will next year raise their own wages to close to what President Obama has proposed. But the point here is that despite your dollar meals at McDonald's, the fast food industry is one of the most profitable in America in 1970. It was a $6 billion industry and now it's a $160 billion industry growing at double digits each year, even through recessions. And Walmart, of course, has produced an entire family of billionaires. And so all the proponents of a $15 an hour minimum wage are saying is that those who produce the riches ought to be able to get a living piece of it.